Ten. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Monday, the 13th of March. Basil Chapman here for the Tiger Financial News Network Market Update, 10 o'clock. Dow's up uh, 73 at 31,979. The futures uh, last night were kind of mixed at the opening. Then out of the blue, there was this huge move up. The Dow futures up about 500 points. And then suddenly, have a look at this. There's this chart, the 10-minute chart. And then suddenly, right there, Kaboom, at 3 o'clock in the morning, comes down and goes from the 3940-ish area down to the low today of 3808, now having a bit of a rebound. So that's what we're looking at. We, we could see this volatility go on for a little while because there isn't any real certainty in terms of the overall structure for the bank. So let's just go through uh, Dow's up 73 s p at this particular point is also up uh, it, now it's back down again it's down two s p also was up huge and and then down sharply now it's trying to come back a little bit it's at this you see this s p cash right there there's a chap wave inside track pretty uh, propellant zone it's in the inside track range and we'll see if it's able to hold i i would say that it needs to hold the 38 um Oh, 3820s at some point, if it takes that out today, it will retest the low. But in the meantime, the QQQ is up 0.78 at 289.30. It's not as bad a looking chart. You'd think it would be, but it's not. It did make a lower low, but holding quite well so far today. IWM, the Russell 2000, not very strong, down 280 at 173. This is where the action has been. Gold for the last three days is a big green candles Thursday, Friday, and now today. Up 36 is part of the whole banking thing. That's why the GDX, yes, it did have a decent balance, but it's nothing like the gold chart. The gold chart is big. These are countries that are coming in as, as they get nervous about the financials. They're looking at the dollar, and the dollar actually has been weak. Uh, it's made that peak deep top at the 105 area, and now it's down to 103.87. Now, this is another part of the story. If you're looking at bonds, bonds at the 200 period exponential moving average in the daily chart. If you're looking at crude oil, crude oil is down sharp. It's come back a little bit from the low, but it's still down too. I'll be back with the Tiger Technicians Hour in a few moments' time, and check out my opening call, my daily news then. See you in a few moments. And don't forget, great programming, Source of at 9 with Tommy 